now an important theorem i am going to discuss with you that is based on the areas of parallelograms on same base and between same parallel lines prove that the areas of parallelograms may be two or more on the same base in place of same base we can say equal base and between same parallel lines are equal that is if i draw the shape for this it will be like this suppose this is one of the parallelogram named as a b c d a b c d is a parallelogram that's why you have to conclude that these two lines are parallel and this line is parallel to this line AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. This is one of the parallelogram. If on the same base AB there is another parallelogram named as A, B, E, and you can say F. A, B, E, F is another parallelogram where you can see ab is parallel to side fe and the side be is parallel to af so here clear cut we have two parallelograms ab cd and ab ef on the same base ab and between same parallel lines ab and f d e c what we need to show we want to prove that these two parallelograms are equal in area how as the procedure for solving we will write given what is given here we are having a b c d a b c d and a b e f are two parallelograms a b c d and a b e f are two parallelograms on same base on same base a b and between same parallel lines which are the lines a b and f c ab and fc are the same parallel lines for both the parallelograms abcd and abef this is given what we want to prove here that area of parallelogram abcd is equals to area of parallelogram abef this result we need to prove now you can see its proof what about its proof it is we have to use the properties of parallelogram and one more concept we will apply that if two figures are congruent then their areas are same we have length ab is equals to cd why what is the reason that ab is equals to cd because a b c d is a parallelogram it is given and what more a b and c d are its opposite sides are it opposite sides so a b length is equal to d c or c d because a b c d is given parallelogram and opposite sides of parallelogram are equal or you can say that another length that is ab this ab also equal to fe ab is equals to fe what is the reason reason is very simple because ab ef is also parallelogram because a b e f is also parallelogram 
एंड ए बी एंड ई एफ आर इट्स अपोजिट साइड सो वॉट हैपन्स यू कैन कंपेयर फ्रॉम दिस दैट दिस इज ए बी दिस इज ए बी एल एच एस ऑफ बोथ द रिलेशन इज इक्वल सो दिस एम्प्लाइज लेंथ सी डी इज इक्वल टू ई एफ बट द पीसीज ऑफ सी डी पीसीज ऑफ सी डी और सी डी इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डी ई प्लस ई सी सो आई कैन से इन प्लेस ऑफ सी डी वी कैन राइट डी ई प्लस ई सी एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ ई एफ वी कैन राइट डी ई प्लस एफ डी दिस डी ई एंड डी ई गेट कैंसिल सो दिस इम्प्लाइज वी हैव कंक्लूडेड द रिजल्ट ई सी इज यूकल्स टू एफ डी नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू टेक टू ट्रेंगल्स बी सी ई नाउ इन ट्रेंगल आई एम टेकिंग नाउ इन ट्रेंगल बी सी ई दिस इज बी सी ई एंड ए डी एफ एंड ट्रेंगल ए डी एफ वट इज देयर इन दीज टू ट्रेंगल्स क्लियरली यू कैन से बी सी इज यूकल्स टू ए डी बी सी इज इक्वल्स टू ए डी दिस लेंथ बी सी इज यूकल टू लेंथ ऑफ ए डी रीजन बिकॉज दीज आर द अपोजिट साइड ऑफ द पैलोग्राम ए बी सी डी दीज आर द बी सी इज यूकल्स टू ए डी अपोजिट साइड ऑफ पैलोग्राम ए बी सी डी Similarly, you can say BE length is equals to AF. Length BE is equals to AF. These are the also opposite side of the parallelogram ABEF. Parallelogram's name is different in first and second case. This parallelogram is ABEF, but these BE and AF are its opposite sides. one more result from equation number 1 we have concluded that length ec is equals to fd this length ec is equals to fd number 1 this side bc is equals to ad number 2 third side be is equals to af number 3 so all three sides of triangle one are equal to all three sides of triangle two in which i am discussing the triangles are bce and adf so by sss condition what happens triangle bce become congruent to triangle adf these two triangles become congruent this implies we can say that area of triangle bce area of triangle BCE is equals to area of triangle ADF. Area of triangle ADF. These two triangles become equal in area. If I ask you to add, why these areas are equal? Because these two triangles become congruent, and congruent figures are always equal in area. If I ask you to add area ABED, both side, on adding. on adding area of trapezium abed both sides in equation 2 both sides in equation number 2 in this equation where areas of triangles are same or i am telling you that when you add abed area in this triangle then this will become complete parallelogram abcd and when the same area abed will be added to area of triangle adf then this will become the area of the parallelogram ab ef so this implies we can say this implies area of parallelogram abcd is equals to area of parallelogram ab ef simply you can say this is triangle number 1 this is triangle 2 and this is shape number 3 you have proved that area of triangle 1 is equals to area of triangle 
when you add three both side area of shape three is equals to area of shape three on adding this become area of triangle one plus area of triangle three is equals to area of triangle two plus area of triangle three one plus three become that is parallelogram a b c d and another become parallelogram a b e f so this is also shown here so the conclusion is as and when we have two parallelograms on same base and between same parallel lines then their areas are equal as you know every rectangle every square every rhombus is also a parallelogram that's why this property is even applicable in case of rectangle in case of parallelogram in case of rhombus in case of square